is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we are making cornbread. As I promised in previous video, we use, in, we use cornbread for the fried green tomatoes. If you didn't see this video, please check it out. But today we are making cornbread. True southern way, the way people make locally, <laughs> local people. And I truly love, my kids love as a snack. It's such a such an easy, easy recipe. It takes no time to whip up and you don't need any mixer or anything. Just quality of ingredients because each ingredient speak about themselves. It's pretty simple. Let's talk about ingredients. First of all, we have to have corn and happens. I love yellow corn. You can truly use a white corn. It's up to you. Flavor won't change, but the color will, the look. And um, I like to grind my own corn because I'm buying organic and I will link below which corn I'm choosing for this corn wonderful because I make popcorn sometimes from the same corn and sometimes if I want to make grits it will be the same and you will be surprised how delicious and smell fresh ground stone ground corn meal versus when you buy it in a bag and it's sitting uh, shelves home who knows how many <laughs> months um, so I grind myself but I'm sure you can find in good quality organic ground stone ground it's important and as ingredients since it's not gluten free has it contains a little bit of all we uh, whole all-purpose flour <laughs> I'm sorry so I will add all-purpose flour kefir if you don't have kefir, use buttermilk and in south, that's number one ingredient for fried chicken, for everything pretty much, they use buttermilk. But in my household, uh, we're using kefir for everything. And I will link below, I uh, pro probably said that a million times through my blog, how to make kefir and what to do with it. I love it, it has a ton of health benefits. Um, eggs, uh, salt, um, bacon powder and bacon soda. And talking about baking powder, if you can find glue, uh, aluminum free, which is sometimes can be an issue, um, I will also in, in description below in, in my blog, <laughs> please visit my blog, explain how to make um, your own aluminum free <laughs> baking powder. It's, it's simple, easy, I promise. And another it's totally options and some people especially older generation they don't like in south sweet cornbread versus up north it's the only way to go sometimes even they add molasses but i like to add not a lot so it's not cakey sweet um kind of dessert this just has a tiny bit of sweetness just to balance the flavor and some ground um, corn it complement nicely so it's hearty bread it's delicious you can use for stuffing um, like for to stuff your turkey or any other ways you can use this bread so let's begin flour all purpose salt bacon powder bacon soda and wheat three cups of corn bread a corn meal Whisk it up and set aside. And for the wet ingredients, two eggs and one third of cup honey. Honey or maple syrup and kefir. And now just whisk. Super simple. <laughs> We're making basic plain cornbread, but obviously you can add so many flavor, like peppers, uh, jalapeno peppers, cheese. Sometimes I like to add some blueberries, strawberries, even apples. So many things you can chop it up and add. And this wouldn't be real <laughs> true southern bread, cornbread, if we didn't use skillet. You can use any pan you like, but I hardly, hardly recommend skillet. And I preheat it like 20, 30 minutes in the oven with some kind of grease. 
you can use butter and I like butter will turn to nice and brown and gives nutty flavor it's delicious but today I'm using bacon <laughs> bacon is what more, more commonly used in south and I like the bacon flavor but if you want vegetarian please skip <laughs> skip on this and use butter about one quarter of cup no less than that be generous it's it's delicious <laughs> So a few minutes later, look at this, how beautiful, irresistible, it smells so good, cornbread. As much as you want to eat right away, I recommend wait at least five minutes. When it's warm, it's delicious, but just five minutes just to settle and the bacon smells so good, <laughs> make me hungry. So soft <laughs> after taste obviously look how beautiful almost like a cake but it's um, it's a bread <laughs> and very hearty bread very moist those kefir did fantastic job to provide moisture oh my god really good I think that's the only recipe you need for cornbread and please don't skip on bacon. <laughs> oh my gosh, crunchy interior, soft, slightly sweet, not really sweet. It's tiny touch of sweetness and stone ground corn. It make whole different. So if you purchase and not grind yourself, make sure it's stone ground. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you give it a try this recipe soon and please share with your friends and your family and as always on the end of this video we'll check what we're going to make next. Blueberry dumplings. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!